from 41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Mets. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. It's been quite a series so far, and the excitement's only ramping up as we get ready for Game 5. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration, but these situations tell us a lot about a team's character, and for some teams, it brings out their absolute best, but for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face, and so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And today's starter, Max Scherzer. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Okay, all set to go. And here's the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. The next offering misses. And the count two and one. There's a strike. Scherzer deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Next offering way off the plate. And a pop off right side foul territory. Alonso puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. Here's Trey Turner. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Next one misses, two and one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Fouls one away, and now three and two. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Just a slow ground ball this time. Throws the first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Turner climbs in on that right side. So here's Scherzer. Turner pops it up. Alonso under this one. He makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Bottom of the first. And on the hill, the lefty, Andrew Haney. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. And a swing and a miss. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Next offering is way upstairs. A 
And that one a little bit high. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. One away. Batting second. The right field. Starling. Marte. Here's Starling Marte. One down, base is empty. Chop to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Fouled off. He was late. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That to right, Betts under it. And there's two down. Batting third, not shortstop. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Singing game five and elimination spot, and the spotlight is focused on this guy. Everybody looks to the star players in big games like this, and this is what you get paid for. Time to come through. Two outs. Up to the left side. Turner picks it up, sends it across to first. Lindor retire. Three up, three down, inning over. Down in order go the Mets. Scoreless after one. here in Queens. Here's the veteran first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Next pitch has popped up. Alonso gets under it. Makes the grab one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. The batter now will be Will Smith. This guy has turned into a beast. Next pitch is outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch misses, and now three and one. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. This looks like extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And it's a one-out double for the first hit of the game. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Max Muncy at the dish. Big time power. And the next pitch is way outside. And another ball. No score here in the second.
swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Chris Taylor now. The pitch. That one down the line. Oh, nice play. And very nicely done for the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Back here at City Field. Here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonzo. The next pitch misses two and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Pitch misses there. Ball three. Kicks and deals. They say it went. Back to work. Three, two now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pitch. And there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Mark Canna. And now the lefty run around the move. Swing and a miss. The throw, tag, and he's out. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. The switch hitter batting right. Next offering is in for a strike. Canna over at first with one away. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Check on the runner. Canna back on a dive. Line drive, base hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's J.D. Davis. Here comes a pitch. And a good eye there. One out, runners at first and second. That smash towards center. Bellinger makes the grab. Batting it, the second baseman. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Mm. 
two on, two outs. And that one fouled off. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging on the curveball. Out number three. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. And a foul ball. Scherzer ahead one and two. And there's one down. Well, he froze him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The why to kick the pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Marte pulls it down, and there's two away. So the lineup flips over. Here's Mookie to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. 2 2 now. And a curve misses outside. Top of the third, no score. That's hard hit on the line. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Dodgers down in order, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. And now the veteran catcher, James McCann. One one to McCann. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Fly to left his first time up. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One, two now. Ground ball up the middle. Throw on to Freeman. One gone. Bottom of the third inning. Starling Marte up to hit. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Oh, 
Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Three and two now. Foul ball. The pitch. And ball four to a board. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So not a terrible result. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Slice to right, and there's a hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Hard hit to third. Base hit, one run is in. Taylor to third. Not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. Mark Canna, the next to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Next pitch misses, and the count is filled up. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. One out, base is loaded. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And the pitch. And fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Out towards left center. Base hit. One run in already. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit. Maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. Bases loaded with one away. Now it's J.D. Davis. He's 0 for 1. Next offering is downstairs. And here it comes. And that's in there at the knees. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. David Price up and throwing. Anderson getting cranked up as well. Bases loaded, one away. And a swing and a miss down on strikes and two away now. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. 
Jeff McNeil stands in. The pitch. That misses. And a count is three and one. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. That one the other way. Inning over. We played three here in game five. It's the Mets three and the Dodgers nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Lifted in the air, out to left. Canna racing over to make the catch. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So now Turner in on that right side. The one two. Ball left outside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Down the line towards the corner. And Freeman is retired. And that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still down 3-0. Welcome back. And they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. David Price. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And he deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. Takes it himself. One out in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Left-hand hitter waits. Bounce to the right side. Freeman steps on the bag. Already two gone here in the home fourth. The right fielder, number six. Starling. Marte. And a batter now. Starling Marte. He's 0 for 1. Ripped on the ground a second. Whips it to first. That ends the inning. And the Mets go down one, two, three. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing.
welcome back. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Out to short. Lindor handles the chance, whips it across, and they get the out on Smith. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Righty delivers. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Fouls one off. Two and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. The 1 1. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Muncie at first, one gone. Next offering is down low. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Righty to the plate. Taylor out of the play. That's out number two. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One left for L.A., they trail in this one, 3 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And down on strikes he goes. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Here's Pete Alonso. Ripped to short. Turner collects, gathers, and throws to first. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. No left fielder. Mark. Canna. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. Two outs. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. And he walked him. Well, just keep handing out gifts, boo. Were we supposed to bring something? Singy, I think just our presence is the present. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. Here's a 1-1. In there at the knees. The 
pitch. On the ground, Turner collects it. Play made, that ends the inning. Mets leave one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Cody Bellinger. And that's ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's Mookie Betts. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. to third can't glove it cleanly and he beats it he's safe just a cookie down the middle I mean those are the ones you dream about ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it Trey Turner at the plate Kicks and deals. Stays alive. It's softly on the ground left side. The throw to second is offline. Well, things that lead to big innings other than hits or home runs are, of course, walks and errors. Free base runners, and they've been gifted with both so far this inning. And that will make any manager in the dugout just stew a little bit, and I'm sure he is right now. Here's Justin Turner. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. The next pitch misses. They're down three and one. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Turner awaiting a 3-1. Swing and a pop-up. And the infield fly rule call. The batter, the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Swing and Freeman blasts one to right. That's back. Up against the wall and makes the catch. Both runners tagging. A big run scores on the sack fly. And it's three to one. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Will Smith, one for two. And the righty deals. That one hit to right. Marte on the move towards foul ground. Drops into the glove. And that is that. 7 8 9 due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Mets three and the Dodgers one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Bruce Dar Grotterol. 
And he'll do his best to keep this close. So now here's the Mets DH, J.D. Davis. Next offering is foul back. Down on strikes. One away. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Good contact guy, good defender. Here's a 1 1. And there's a ball. Action in the pen down there. Justin Brule looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Yeah, the 2-1 hammered, but foul. The wind of the pitch. That one drifts inside. Fouled off left side. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Next pitch has popped up. Turner makes the play, and there's two down. Here is James McCann. And the right hater deals. McCann fouls one off. And a pitch. Stays alive. McCann fouls it off. This one in the air right field. Betts drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Mets. And the score stays 3-1. to one. here at City Field. All set for the start of the inning. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Max Muncy. Next offering misses. It's two and two. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Trevor May, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Adovino, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Two and two. Fouled off to the right. Next offering is fouled back. Man, he's been really good about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. the play Chris Taylor the 1-1 one, one. late on that Taylor fastball and 
And a pitch. That misses the zone. Now two and two. Really nice slider right there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Smoked on the ground a second. Tossed to Alonzo. And two away to start the seven. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Gavin Lux. Next offering is fouled back. Lifted in the air, right center field. Nimmo moving under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Dodgers go down quietly, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Alex Vesia. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. here in Queens set for the last half of the seventh now here is Brandon Nimmo it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run tap back up the middle throw on to Freeman and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh deceptive slider right there stayed in the tunnel a long time got that hitter out front rolled over it put it on the ground so up next, Starling Marte for the fourth time tonight. Next pitch has popped up. Freeman has a beat on it. He's got it. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Now Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Francisco Lindor. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the third out. Inning over. Mets go down quickly. But they still lead it 3-1. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Trevor May. He has a great slider with tons of movement. the top of the eighth and at the plate for the Dodgers Cody Bellinger three two now and a swing and a miss leadoff man is out here in the eighth all oh, that high four seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. And now it's Mookie Betts. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. McCann makes the grab two away down. Now batting. Shortstop. Trey Turner. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Trey Turner. Kicks and fires. 
That one fouled off, two and two. Cut on and miss, struck him out. That ends the frame. Dodgers down in order. And they still trail it here, three to one. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for New York, Pete Alonzo. offering is in for a strike one ball two strikes the pitch swings through that and it's a strikeout and one away well that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count and as a pitcher it really allows you to start expanding the zone guys become defensive and all of a sudden for the hitter that plate starts to get really wide and what happens is because of the pressure you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Digging in, Mark Canna. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And a pitch. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and yes, he did. Jerry Hillsdale rings him up. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Next offering is fouled back. The one, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. On the ground, right side. He handles it himself. That's the inning. Down in order, go the Mets. As the lead remains, 3-1. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen, and he'll work on holding this lead. We go to the ninth. Justin Turner now. Next pitch is outside. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And here it comes. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Canna settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Freddie Freeman. And a 1-1. Swings through that one. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Right through there, got him. Two gone. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Will Smith.
to two now. Just off the outside part of the plate. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Is just one strike away. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Down to their final strike. Stays alive. Payoff pitch. In the air, right side. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Man in scoring position with two away. Here comes Max Muncy. Next pitch misses inside. And it's two and one. Man at second. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. You just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game. You need to make the offense earn everything down the stretch. And that right there was just a freebie. Next pitch is popped up. Escobar gets there. He's under it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. In an elimination game, you see your season quickly coming to an end. It can be a bit nerve-wracking, but they were able to settle things down, come out and play really good baseball in this one. They get the win, and the series continues. Who knows? Maybe they'll get right back in it. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.